Hello, and welcome to the next episode of the Minecraft Guide. I would say a number, but I don't know which one it is. As you can see, it's night time, and it's raining. Delightful. Ow. Probably should fix that. Actually, wait, no, I'm not going to be sticking around for long. So, I'm going to snooze, then I'm going to show you what I've been doing in my absence. Um, Still raining? Okay then. I was hoping that would stop. Enderman spazzing around. Oh no, it stopped raining. Enderman no longer spazzing around. Enderman don't like water, which is why it was spazzing around. But yeah. Right, so as you can see, I've started up a a solid mine. Um this is because I'm gonna need a lot of cobblestone. I've also marked out some big circles and some sort of wall area showing where I want things to lead to the circles. And this is gonna be what I'm building next. But um why are you angry, Enderman? But yeah. So that's gonna be what I'm building next. Uh so that I have a better place to live than a hut in a tree. Always nice to have a better place to live than a hut in a tree. But I'm not gonna do that today, because that'll take a long time. I mean, it took me quite a while to get all this dirt collected and placed out and to smooth off some of the land in between. So I'm not going to do that today. What I am going to do is I'm going to go spelunking. Uh, I found an interesting little cave. Is it this cave? I think it was this cave. Yeah, this looks like the cave. So yeah. Oh, there's a lot of mushrooms in this cave. But yeah, I spotted a cave, so I'm going to go spelunking. Which is something that I don't think I've done yet sounded like a plane just went overhead, but that was in-game. That's an Enderman. Hello, Enderman. I see you have a dirt block. On. Why are you angry? Okay then, that was a delightful noise. Um, wow. Uh, that was that was lovely. Ow. Thank you, zombie. Just slaughter them. Oh look, it's holding rotten flesh. That's great. Oh, a creeper too. Get out of here. Nope, nope, just gonna explode. Well, that could have all gone better. <laughs> As spelunking goes, this was a pretty bad deal. Uh, I'm going to stay up here for a bit. Leave a torch. Let's put a torch here so this stuff doesn't keep happening. Don't want to be dealing with constant zombies. Always a fun thing to happen when you're spelunking. Creepers might come up behind you. Zombies might come up behind you. Skeletons might come up behind you. Spiders might... Uh, everything will come and kill you. Is what I'm trying to say. Be on the lookout. Keep torches placed regularly. I think that's about all the guide I could really give for spelunking. Other than mine things. That's a good start. Um, yeah. Find caves and mine materials from them. But if you didn't know that about spelunking, then... Um, how new are you to this game? That's, uh, again, I... Yeah. <laughs> If you're very new to the game, then that's, uh, I mean, fair enough, you might not know, but really? I'm pretty sure the definition of spelunking is going into, actually no, spelunking's not always finding valuable things in caves, is it? Oh, hello. If it's exploring caves, or going in caves for the hell of it. Why haven't I got any hunger? Why is it my health regening? Because I haven't got any hunger. Why haven't I got any hunger? I forgot to eat. Why did I forget to eat? Don't know. If someone wants to give me a scientific explanation as to the intricacies of memory, then go for it. I might be hard in a YouTube comment section. 
Um. I push this end up and would go away. I may have to kill it. If it makes that noise again, I'm gonna kill it. I mean, the, the proper noise, not the just the. Oh, I've dinged. I am now level 15. This will be useful at some point, maybe. Nice. And that's how you use a creeper to kill everything around you. Why aren't I using torches? <laughs> because my brightness is on full. So that if I run out of torches, I can see. That's... I suppose that is a reasonable reason, but... Should remember anyway. Should remember anyway. As fun as it is to get creepers to kill other things, you don't want them coming after you. Uh, I don't have a shovel. I, I used all my shovel. Usually I would empty my inventory out before going mining, but today I, ha I apparently didn't. Uh, yeah. Oh, dead end. Lovely. Gravel. That's... That's fun. Everyone loves gravel, right? 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 Guys? No? No? Okay. Fair enough. Gravel's horrible. It's horrible. Horrible gravel. If that's an accent, I don't know what one it is. That worries me slightly. That's a ravine. That's a bona fide ravine, right there. Well, that's nice. Didn't actually know that was down there. When it comes to preparing good caves, choosing at random really works well for me. <laughs> Unlike choosing at random with anything else, then it always goes horribly. Huh, strange. Lots of coal, gonna need that. Everyone always leaves coal behind, and then they have to go on a mission to find coal again. Dead zombie. Terrific. That was a lot of mushrooms. Why were there so many mushrooms in here? These zombies take drugs of some form now. Is that the new Minecraft drug thing? <laughs> There's probably a mod that has that, doesn't there? I can almost guarantee there's a mod that just adds drugs to the game. There's pretty much a mod for everything in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, which is why I'm not using mods. Because there's a mod for anything. And when there's a mod for anything, there's a mod for everything. Oh, a villager zombie. Hello. Two creepers. Hello. Ow. Let go of that gunpowder. What are you going to do with it? You're not going to drop it. Thanks. I know where you are. Nice. Just more creepers and zombies. Here to spoil your day. Die, creeper. Let me go. I like that a bow can kill them in less, in, uh, less hits than a sword. That's a torch! <laughs> um, don't know why I'm trying to shoot something with a torch. Well, that is quite... A, that, that, that is actually a mod in, in the game. Uh, that you can find somewhere. Where you, it's just a recipe that adds a torch. If you just stick it on in the shape of where flint would go in an arrow, it just makes fire arrows, which sets everything on fire. Or is it torch arrows? I think it used to make like, fire arrows, but they changed it so that if you shoot your bow at something, it actually shoots a torch, which is placed on the wall or the floor or whatever. Which is kind of cool, actually. Quite useful. Good for dungeons. You can light the whole thing up without ever going in it. Of course, then you can't really kill anything with it, because it doesn't do damage. Sounds like there's a bat here. I suppose it's a big underground dark area for them to spawn in, so... They might do that. 
God, that's a lot of... How deep is this? I feel like I should have bought a bucket of water. I think I might do that now. This might be a good chance for me to learn editing skills. Maybe the next part of the video will simply vanish and reappear back here with a bucket of water or another location if I couldn't find this one with a bucket of water and no thing to do with it. Then he said nowhere to do with it. That wouldn't make sense. Nowhere to do with it. Come on, brain. Work properly. And don't change voice when you say random sentences. This isn't going to be cut out at all. It's going to all stay in. I just know it. I'm not going to bother. Or learn how to, considering I don't know how. That would be a good step before being bothered, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just going to derpily attempt to jump up some blocks. And walk into a wall. And it's night time already. And isn't that just amazing? Amazing! Like a maze. Whoops. Oh yeah, and I improved the sugarcane farm, because, you know, there's only so much digging and placing of dirt blocks that you can do before you find, attempt to find something better, or slightly more useful to do. So, sugarcane farm, I have one. It's not a bad sugarcane farm. I mean, it's, it's just a lake with some sugarcane around it, but I mean, it's not really even a lake, is it? An oversized puddle, maybe? Yeah, it's also another piece of sugarcane. Two more pieces of sugarcane. Nom. I'm going to use all of this to make books. You need leather to make books now, don't you? Damn. That's going to be annoying. Oh yeah, there's all the, there's all the spare dirt I have. Um. Wow. It's just, uh, jettison that. It'll weigh the house down, or something. Oops, steak. Shove that in there. Dirt, 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 dirt. Dirt. You need some dirt. 32 dirt seems a good amount of dirt. Let's just throw all this on a tree. There you go, have several metric tons of dirt. So I have seven bits of leather. Rotten flesh is very useless. Why is there so much gravel? Why would I... I need the cobblestone. I should just make another chest. <sighs> right. Uh, oh, I do... Uh, I do have a bucket. Terrific. I suppose that means I don't need to make buckets. Uh, coal keep. Sticks keep. Why do I have so much coal? Not really sure. Put as much of it in there as possible. Carry the west... Bleh. Carry the west with me. Uh, mushrooms, don't need those. I have loads of st steak. Gravel I'm getting rid of. Cobblestone. Oh yeah, I'm taking the dirt. I need a building material that isn't gravel. A single ladder. Put some sand in there. Actually. Take that. Uh, okay then. I'm gonna plop some of this in the water. As an extension to the sugarcane farm. I think sugarcane grows faster than sand, by like a tiny amount, but I wouldn't quote me on that, because I just wouldn't. Don't quote me on this, because those are my words now. You can't have them. Oh, the wheat's doing well. 
Bucket of water. That's what I came for. Don't forget that. That's important. <laughs> That's the whole reason I left the cave. Right, back into the cave. Oh, come on. Really? How many torches do you need? I'm gonna be a pink from now, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> this lever armor is working wonders for me. <laughs>